Greetings all, this is Alan. I received a Vivor cooler today. I'm gonna to use this water cooler to provide cooling water to a water cool spindle that I'm installing on my Onefinity CNC. This is an air-cooled heat exchanging device. It had, does not have a refrigerant cycle built in it. It's simply air-cooled using a coolant over a coil with air flowing over it. The air is, uh, intakes are on the side of the machine, on both sides, and then it exhausts out the rear. And it pumps a lot more air than I expected, by the way. I've put a piece of vinyl hose on here for a test. I'm gonna turn this on for you. Uh, it, it is equipped with an alarm system, and you'll hear that when I turn it on. It also has, comes with an electrical uh, fitting so that you can use those alarm signals remotely if you choose. I likely will not do that. Uh, I put about nine liters of water in this thing for the test today. Sorry for the camera wiggle. I'll take that water out of this machine quickly and replace it with some automotive coolant, which is way more appropriate, of course. Here we go, I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna get a low flow alarm. As soon as flow is established, that alarm will quench and we'll see the temperature. If the temperature of the coolant were to go up high, we'd also get alarm for that. Here we go. Alarm quenched. Coolant temperature 20.9 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna turn it off because it's a little bit noisy, not too bad. There's umpteen variants of this same machine out there with different brand numbers on names and numbers on it. I bought this one from Vivor. Uh, it was available here in a warehouse in the US and it shipped uh, from via FedEx and it, it arrived in great shape, so I'm happy with that. All in all, the quality of this uh, Machine is better than I expected. Of course, uh, we'll see if it works long term. I expect that it will. Uh, meanwhile, I wanted to give you a visual of this thing. When I was looking, I couldn't find much to, about the machine other than photos. A few folks helped me on the forums and social media, but again, no video anywhere. So I hope this may help someone that's uh, looking for a device like this. Y'all take care.